Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we look at how we can enable the web server on a Linux Mint machine. And then we'll see how we can use the web server to share files or to download files. And we can download the files from either a Windows PC or a Linux machine. And we can use a browser or a terminal to get the files. Now I'm already logged into the Linux Mint machine and I have a terminal open. And by default, the, once we install Apache, this is where you'll get the files. So it, they're going to be in the directory called uh, HTML under var uh, www, then HTML. And by default, you'll get this file, index.html, which has the contents that show up when you access the web, uh, web server using a browser. Now, if you don't have it installed, you'll need to install it, but I believe it comes in installed by default. The command to install it will be app install Apache 2. And since it's already installed, it says Apache 2 is already installed. So you know how to install it. Now the next thing you'll need to do is you need to check if it's running. So the command is system ctl status Apache 2. And in this case, it's saying that it's inactive dead. So we need to enable it or we need to start it rather because it's already enabled. That means every time you reboot or start the machine, it should start by default. So I, I stopped this one just to show you what it, it's going to look like when it's not running. And in, the, in this case, if for instance, if I try to go to the site, the web, uh, web server using a browser, and let's use the loopback address, which is the, if you come here, let's clear this, and do IP address. This is the loopback, 127.0.0.1. Now, if we use this and go to 127.0.0.0.1, we're not getting anything because the web server is not started, it's not running. Now let's go ahead and start it. Now the command to start the server, the web the web server is a system CTL start Apache. Now if you needed to stop it, you just change this to stop. Okay, and then press enter. And then here you have to put in your password. Now if I rerun the command to check the status, it should show that it's running and it's active. Okay. Now I'm gonna go to the Browse again, okay. And this time it's, I can get to the site. Now by default, you'll get uh, the output or the display you'll get for Apache is gonna be different. The reason I'm, you're seeing this one is because I modified the index.html file. And uh, let's see what, let's navigate to it and see the contents of it. So like I said, it's under var www.html. So let's see it to HTML. And this uh, by default, this is what you'll get. So index.html. I added this downloads directory because we'll use it to put the files that we will be downloading or the files that we'll be sharing. Now you can look at the contents of this file. You can use like a cat command. Index. And this is the this is what I have inside of it. Now, initially, you have a, a lot of information, uh, HTML information for the default Apache display for the home page. And you can modify that with uh, whatever you want. In, in this case, I just put one line for demonstration. So if you are, if you use a text editor, let's say like uh, Beam, you can open the file and then you can, you can edit it. Okay, you can go in here and then you can add whatever you want to add here. Okay, and if I refresh this, it should show the changes. So that's how you modify that if you needed to modify it. Now, as far as sharing uh, files, I have files in this folder. Let me navigate to it. So I have two files here test one and uh, so our files here, test file one and test file seven, which are just text files. 
and you can see the contents of them and there they are now if you needed to access this all you need to do is add that folder or add that directory to the path here um, it's downloads and here they are you can click and you can see since these are just text files you're not able to download them we can just see the contents now one way to make these files downloadable is to change them to like a compressed file so if i came back here and uh, let's say for instance let's compress this test file one uh, let's use sudo uh, let's use uh, gzip test file one. and now it's a compressed file if i go back here it's got an extension of gz if i click on it you can see that now it's downloading it. So by changing the file type, I'm able to download it. Now we can access the files from, like I said, uh, Windows PC or from a Linux machine. So let me open a browser from a Windows PC. And let's go to the IP for this machine, which is 172.16.1.103. So 172.16.1.103. 16.1.103. Then I'll put the directory here, downloads, and I can do the same thing. I can download the file. And if I click the text file, I can see the content. Now, when it comes to accessing the files from a Linux machine, now this is an Ubuntu machine. I can use the terminal to get to the files. I can also use a browser. Now, if I open a browser, should be able to, to do the same thing uh, as long as I know the IP. Now, one of three um, downloads. I can get the files, I can download the files the same way. Now, there is a command you can use on the terminal that will allow us to download the, the text file in this case. And that command is w get http colon and we put the ip here 16.1.103 and then downloads in this case we'll need to put the file name so test file 7 so test file 7 as you can see we're able to download the file it says here connecting to 172.16.1.103 at port 80, which is HTTP. H then there's an HTTP request sent, and then we get a 200 OK response, and then saving to, then the file name, and then 100%. And that's it for this video. That's how you can enable your Apache web, web server on a Linux Mint machine and share files, which you can access using a web browser, or you can uh, download using a which you can either download using a web browser or using a terminal. So I hope this information has been useful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.